um, they have something called the Pilgrim's Program. And uh, for those who are competitive, I think you guys know I play sports, so I'm super competitive, like, don't mess with me. So, like, you create teams. The, the whole thing is to encourage you that, you know, like, let's say you were the person in Hajj, you're going to be, like, amplifying your dhikr, your Qur'an, you're going to be in the zone, right? But for all of a lot of us who don't get to go to Hajj every year, you know, um, it's hard to get in that zone, too, of ibadah, of worship. So the pilgrims program that they have, I feel like, really helps you. I feel like, hey, you're also in, like, hajj almost, right? Like, you're there, too. Like, you can take yourself there. Create team. So you, you have your own team. And um, in that team, you get points, right? So, again, you, it's all about reward. But it's, it's just fun competition, right? To get each other to uh, motivated to do more. And subhanAllah, my team leader, you might know her, Farhana Yunus. May Allah reward her last time. She really encouraged us, like, to, to realize, like, you can do more than you think. Like, when I saw the score sheet in the beginning, I was like, oh, my gosh, read Surah Al-Am and Surah Al-Baqarah in one day? Like, who are you kidding? You know, like, and, and all these other things, right? But then, subhanAllah, she would just, like, just make the intention to do it. And that's all she said. She said, just try, you know, just try. And subhanAllah, like, when you really try, Allah, like, puts barakah in your days. You, like, you, you get this different feeling, subhanAllah, and you're just, like, really um, surrounded by sisters who are telling you, Hey, okay, you got five points today. Tomorrow you'll get more. You know, tomorrow you'll get ten. You know, like, don't worry about the points; just come. So on one of those days, I was actually um, um, supposed to do five hundred salawat, five hundred Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad, right, to uh, send prayers on our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, our Jirud. And I was supposed to do five hundred before Maghrib. That that was like my 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 goal for the day. And I had a basketball game around Asr prayer. So I went to my basketball game, and I think I had only got to like uh, 300 or so. So um, after my basketball game, it was almost Maghrib, but I just wanted to get home before Maghrib. And I was getting home, and, and I think that, that uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think your, your salawat was supposed to be on the prayer mat, right, to get you more engaged. So it's not something to do, like, even though obviously you can always do it in your car, wherever you are, but like for specifically for this, like, it's like you really want to be fully immersed in your salawat, right? So it was not something I could have done on the, on the car. So anyway, I got in the car and I was just like, I'll, you know, maybe I might not make the, the, the rest of the 200 in time. But something told me, Samia, stop on the side of the road. Just stop on the side of the road and get your prayer mat out. So I actually yeah. did that. I stopped in a random parking lot. And I took my janamat, my, my prayer mat my rug out. I put it down and I sat down. I started making salawat. I'm um, like, just, Allahumma salli alayhi wa Muhammad, Allahumma salli alayhi wa Muhammad. And probably you're like, people are like, who is this person in the random grocery store <laughs> parking lot? What is she doing? But anyway, so I was making salawat. And then alhamdulillah, I got to 200 before Maghrib. And then I'm still on my prayer mat. Okay, I'm still on my prayer mat. And I get a FaceTime call from someone who I rarely ever talk to, from a friend. So I was like, should I answer this? Like, this is so random, like, right now? So then I'm like, I answered it. And guess what? My friend was in Medina, in the Masjid of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And, she, and I, I, it didn't hit me yet. Like, I, I, I didn't make the connection of what I was doing to what, what she's, what, what I'm seeing. And then, I, I, I'm, like, she, she, she barely talks to me. She's like, Samia, the prayer is about to start. Do you want to watch the whole prayer in Medina? And I'm, I look at her, I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll just stay on FaceTime. I'll, I'll stay. So I put my phone down. She puts her phone down. And I can see, you know, the, 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 the pillars are on the masjid Aww. in Medina. And then, and then while the, the imam is reciting, it hit me. I was like, oh, my gosh. I was just making salawat. Like, subhanAllah. So, like, it's like that, that moment. I'll never forget it. SubhanAllah. And, and the only reason I actually stopped and, and dedicated those salawat was because of Rabbata encouraged me. Like, I would have never... You know, thought of dedicating a salawat while sitting on the, on, the, on the prayer mat right after basketball on the way home before Maghrib, right? That would have never occurred to me ever, subhanAllah. But again, like, Rabbata just instills this value in you that, hey, like, your your worship is a big part of you, who you are, right? Your, your dhikr, everything you can do for Allah Ta'ala is a big part of you, right? Don't, don't take that for granted. Like, we get to send salawat. Like, we get to pray we get to say subhanallah right? these are all opportunities